Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today is day 7 of our 30 day love yoga challenge and today's theme is going to be challenges. Every story is a love story, so that's why the whole theme is love yoga, but within the story there is all these chapters that we have to embark on in our life, in, in our day really, there is these chapters that we have to, or these little mini segments that we have to get through, overcome, enjoy and so forth. So challenges is always a part of everybody's story. You will never find a person that has not faced challenges or doesn't face a lot of challenges on their path. So today we're going to embark on a more challenging of a practice and you're going to observe yourself and how you respond to challenges. How do you yield and do you give in and do you flow uh, in the face of challenges? Do you get angry, resentful, upset, blaming, etc. So observe, learn to know yourself a little better when you're dealing with challenges and let's flow with strength and ease. of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen through the crown of the head, open the palms of the hands forward and allow your shoulder blades to drop into the back so they're not sticking out. Pull the belly in, firming the core and standing tall. You feel your midsection engaging, connecting the lower and the upper body, standing tall, feeling your own strength, tune into the strength of your own body. Exhaling completely, inhale, exhale, chin parallel to the floor. Let's press all four corners of each foot down into the mat and you can lift your toes off the floor briefly and that will allow you to press further into the mat and lift the arches of the floor. Release the toes down and you can sway side to side, back and forth, finding, finding a place here that feels effortless. So you're going to sway and feel your balance and you're going to stop at a place that feels effortless. A place where it almost takes zero effort to stand. You're just floating almost. Complete ease. Keep deepening your breath, observing your body. Inhale the hands over the head. Exhale them over the third eye and over the heart and let's create an intention for today's class that you can also take into your day that we are going to flow with strength and ease. Let's bend the knees starting off with a challenging pose chair and look down, make sure that you can see your toes, shift your booty as far back as you can and tuck the tail elbow under just a tiny bit. We're elongating the spine and connecting the core. So the tucking only happens a tiny bit so that we can really connect with the core muscles. Relax your shoulders. I want you to do strong poses with ease, with grace. Softening the face muscles here so that it doesn't look like you're doing a strenuous pose or that you're putting a lot of effort in it. Just kind of smile. All right, exhale, folding forward, straighten the legs. Not all the way, you can keep a micro bend forward bend and don't worry 
about your flexibility just grab your legs or the floor wherever you can reach it's all good inhale look ahead of you and we're going to bring the hands on the floor spread the fingers wide open and step them back in plank lower down onto your belly inhale elbows in into the rib cage open here relax the shoulders drop them down exhale down dog lifting the tailbone as high as you can feet are parallel to each other hip width apart the hands are shoulder width apart Try to gauge your body and try to know what hip width means for you. And we're talking the bones, not if you're a little curvier, that doesn't mean that you should follow the curves, just follow the bones. So joints are following joints and it's really beautiful to feel where your joints are in space. They may not be visible, but we can feel them. We can tune in. Let's look under the right shoulder. Smile a little. Under the left. Corners of the lips are smiling. The eyes are smiling. Great. And take the right leg up. Step it through. Press the back heel away from you and come up. Straight back. High lunge. Try to move with integrity, make that dedication, that intention for your practice that you're going to bring integrity into the movement. So coming up, hands in prayer and we're gonna do a challenging but a fun move. Lean forward and shift forward and come into a pose called Warrior 3, first for this series. Uh, level the hips with the floor and maybe a second time don't quote me on if it's the first time we're doing it but we're in the beginning of learning this pose so pull the belly in engage your core and let your leg work all right bend the right knee and we're gonna step straight back into high lunge good how was that hands in prayer and we're gonna do it one more time again try to move with integrity because when you have an intention of how you move it helps your practice glide into a pose if you are falling all over the place accept it it's fine it's just yoga and laugh about it and come back to it all right move <laughs> level the hips once you're here so we're going to lower that left hip down. It tends to stay up here. We're going to lower it down. Great. Bend the right knee and step it back. High lunge. Dip a little deeper here and look down. Make sure that your knee is pointing directly forward. Where the toes are pointing. Great. Pull the belly in. Let's go one more time. Level the hips bend the right knee and straighten it bend straighten bend and this time come up to standing on one leg as much as you can without touching the floor and wrap your left leg around the right take a big breath in left arm forward right arm up cross them and lift and soften the back of the shoulder do as much as you can cross as much as you want to or can if you're just wrapping halfway around that's fine as well listen to your body honor it all right unwrap you can shake it off <laughs> you can shake 
shake that <laughs> that sore leg and sit back chair sit a little further back imagine there is a chair behind you just stick your booty as far back as you can and sit down hmm. we can laugh in the face of challenges or get over serious so it's our choice <laughs> all right exhale forward fold inhale hands on the shin bones halfway up look ahead of you pull the belly in step it back plank lower down onto the belly cobra downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana Inhale the left leg up Step it through High lunge Pull the belly in Hands in prayer Dip a little deeper here And begin to lower the chest so that we bring the chest parallel to the floor shift travel forward warrior three the warrior poses are strong poses pull the belly in lower back is working straighten it no curving here and step it back high lunge hands in prayer shift Step it back, high lunge. Hands in prayer, shift. Coming up to standing. Don't worry, we'll do the knee bends. And wrap it around. Right arm reaches forward, left up, cross, lift, focus, focus on your balance, keeping the mind still and the body still. Great, unwrapping and hands in prayer, transition back into warrior three. And we're gonna do three knee bends. One, try to uh, level the hips and lower them equally. Two, three, step to the front, chair. Exhale, forward fold. And hands on the ground, plank. Hold plank. If you need to rest with knees on the floor, keep your body straight. Keeping it in one straight line. Lower down onto your belly inhale cobra exhale down dog lifting the tailbone high pull the belly in Inhale the left leg up, step it through, drop the back heel down, bend the left knee and come up, warrior one, hips facing forward. And here we're going to either grab above the knee or below the knee and again shifting the weight onto the left leg, grab your calf 
and step it back. So this is a balancing move, a challenging move, and we're going to do it a couple of times. Reaching forward, grab your calf, step it back, third time, good. And hands in prayer, straighten the lead knee, facing the long side of your mat. You're going to take a horse stance or plie. So we're going to open the feet out, knees following the feet and sit down in plie. And look down, make sure that your knees are aligning with your toes. Sit down, take a nice deep breath in here. And we're going to take a little hip groovy move because it is challenging. If you've never done that, it may feel like you're stepping outside of your comfort zone. And there is always room to learn in that place. There's the beginner mind in that place. So we're just kind of grooving, hip groove. So you're lifting one hip, lifting the other, lifting one, 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 lifting the other. All right. Very good job. Tap yourself on the shoulder. You did good. And we're going to step to the front chair. Our friend pose of the day. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look ahead of you and step it back, plank. Shall we do a chaturanga? You can place your knees on the ground or not. Chaturanga, upward dog or cobra. And down dog. Take the right leg up. Step it through. Drop the back heel down and come up. Warrior one. And here we're going to do that transition that is challenging but also fun because you can focus on a drishti point on a gazing point and as you do the balancing moves you sink yourself with that immovable point so we're going to shift forward standing on one leg grab the right calf straight back to warrior one and again shift forward Straight back. Shift forward. Straight back. Warrior one. And here we're going to bring the hands on the hips and directly step to at the front of the mat. Chair again. You can bring your hands over the heart so that you're not working extra with the upper back and just focus on your legs a slight tuck in the tailbone pull the belly in really engaging the core and sit as deep down as you can shifting the knees back can you go a little deeper challenge yourself all right coming out of this inhale reach over the head heart and keeping the back straight exhale folding forward Inhale, look ahead of you and step it back, plank, holding plank, spread the fingers open. Take the right leg up, right knee to left elbow, step it back, left leg, 
left knee to right elbow, opposite side, alternating across, squeeze the belly as hard as you can across, squeeze, and that's a third rep, let's go for 10 reps, if you can only do three, that's fine, just rest in child's pose, if you can join me for a few more or all of them, do so, squeeze the belly, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. All right. You can take a moment in child's pose. Inhale, coming up before we fall asleep. <laughs> and we're gonna work on one more rewarding and a challenging pose. Take a squat. If your heels are off the floor, just balance here and allow your joints to open up and soften because this relaxes the lower back as well. If you can bring your hands in prayer, do so, which opens. It helps you open the knees a little more, opening the hips and relaxing the lower back. Keep your chest open. And from this position, you're going to bring your forearms parallel to the floor, flexing the hands. And this is going to be our position in a little bit, only we're gonna shift the direction and the legs are going to be in the air. So you can, Get your upper triceps all the way to shoulders even in the inner knees. And from here, you're going to tip forward and come onto the tippy toes and go way back into onto the heels or onto your toes. And again, tipping forward and coming back. Tipping forward and coming back. So now see, can you peel your toes off the floor for a quick second? You can watch me do it one time and then give it a go. So peeling off and coming back. You can always put a pillow in front of you if you feel that you may lose your balance. And tip, come back. Tip, come back. Tip, come back. Make sure that your hands are really working here, fingers spreading wide open. Let's go. This time, tipping forward, take one leg off and really draw the heel up towards your booty. Change sides. Pull the belly in. See if you can take both. Squeeze the feet in towards each other. Great. And release. Breathe it out. and take down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge. Here you're going to keep the right knee above your right ankle and not forward, just stay there. Press into the back heel and lower your left knee down. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Hands in prayer and let's bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. I told you this is going to be a little challenging. So if you can do a pose, Skip it, rest through it, give it a go, whatever works for you, but see how you operate in the face of challenges. Exhale, soften the belly. 
inhale come back up gracefully exhale hands on the ground step it back plank lower down cobra exhale down dog inhale left leg comes up step it through high lunge keep the knee above or behind the left ankle and we're gonna lower the right knee down one squeeze squeeze your muscles two three four five hold hands in prayer right elbow on the outside of the left knee soften the belly and keep your chest open keep your shoulders down neck elongated press into the back heel soften with each exhalation this is a challenging pose that requires from us not to push through but to soften to give in letting go of tension in the belly tension in the back muscles and relaxing softening great coming out reach exhale down and this time we're going to lower the left knee on the ground level the hips and lifting through the rib cage lower down pigeon that is another oftentimes considered a challenging pose because it requires of us to again soften let go allow flexibility rather than force it so there is no willing here here is this is a matter of softening letting go this is the perfect pose that teaches us how to let go how to surrender focus on your exhalations make sure that your right hip is down level with the left hip and breathe Great, inhale slowly coming up, open the chest, lift. Shall we deepen the stretch? You can bend your back knee, come up a little higher, hips lifting a little higher and grab your right foot with your right hand and tuck your tailbone under slightly again so that we can really go into the hip flexors very very good especially for pretty much all of us we sit a lot we drive a lot we walk a lot all of the those shorten the hip flexors so we want to stretch there and rebalance the posture great release and go back to one legged down dog and you can draw a few circles with your left knee step it back down and 
glide your right knee forward lifting the ribcage lengthen lower down focus on your exhalation stay here and breathe if you feel that your body is resisting soften your breath allow your mind to stop contracting let it know it's okay to relax soften if it's just the muscles being tight then work with your exhalation and if you need to back off and rest in child's pose of course do that there's no competition Keep exhaling. This whole practice should be fun. Even the challenging part should be fun. You should have fun with the challenges. Gratitude for the challenges. Let's walk up. Keep your hips level. You can come up a little bit onto the right shin bone and reach back. Bring your left foot in, grab it with the left hand. Keep the tailbone slightly tucked so we can stretch the quadriceps and the hip flexors. Very good. All right, one-legged down dog, circle the right knee. Give me a few circles here. And now we're going to open that right knee up, bending the knee and lifting the knee up towards the ceiling. From here, last challenging pose, I think. <laughs> Step the right foot behind you and glide your left leg straight. Press your hips as high as you can. This pose, if you're new to it, is called wild thing. So be wild. <laughs> Very good. Coming out of it, back to down dog. Good job. And good job even if you didn't attempt it, that's okay. And opposite side. <laughs> Lifting your hips as high as you can, chest as open as you can, vibrant heart. All right, good. And we're going to walk the feet to the center of the mat, come into a seated pose, however you get there, and extend your legs in front of you. You can remove the fleshy parts from your buns, from your seat bones, and a few times just shift forward, shift back, shift forward as if you're trying to bring your belly forward towards the legs and open the chest. Great. Once you feel a lot of resistance in your back or in your hamstrings then stop there, hold there for a moment. Exhale for the hamstrings. Great. Inhale coming up and exhale furthermore. So grab onto your shin bones, feet, wherever you can reach. Inhale, coming up and exhale. This is showing you the possibilities towards which you can work. If there is a pose that you can't do, 
there is no rush or necessity to achieve it but the possibility for you is there to learn new ways to move in or to allow your body to do new things that are good for you all right coming out one more time and now exhale go a little deeper good And we're going to glide the hands behind us, fingertips pointing back towards us. Point your toes and we're going to go into reverse plank. So we're looking kind of like in plank but the opposite way. So the belly towards the ceiling and lift your hips as high as you can, engaging the posterior chain of the body. All the muscles in the back of the body are on fire now. Lift as high as you can. Lift, lift, lift. all right release and soles of the feet together coming into a stretch here coming out of this pose one more time hands behind us reverse plank lift your hips as high as you can and release let's bring the right foot on the outside of the left knee knee up towards the ceiling reach with the left arm up and grab your leg look behind you lengthen through the crown of the head soften exhale we're learning to deal with challenges both things that require our strength and things that require our Surrender. Exhale completely here. Inhale to the front. Opposite side. Reaching. Exhale. Soften. Inhale, coming out of this and sit in a comfortable position. Palms of the hands facing up. You can even bring your index finger to your thumb. Take a few nice deep breaths. Softening the jaw as you exhale. Keeping the tongue off the palate as you exhale. And let's see, inhale the hands over the head. Exhale the hands over the heart, sealing the benefits of the practice today and making a commitment to take some of the elements of your practice into your day. Be it your determination, be it your consistency, perseverance, beginner's mind, calm attitude, desire to grow whichever element of your practice you like take it into your day apply it in your life and let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness compassion and love namaste thank you all for joining me today this was beautiful I congratulate you however much of this class you did if you're a complete beginner this was good enough you embarked on this journey you are on day seven that's really good that's seven days of yoga I'm looking forward to seeing you complete the challenge and seeing you go with me on this transformational journey for all of us and 
let me know how the class worked for you today make sure to share the class with your friends and family subscribe for day eight which is going to be fun i have a few surprises lined up for the following week so make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell and come back tomorrow because we are going to be having more fun remember the flow is strength and ease